Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is June 3rd, 2021. Right now, the time is 10.50 a.m. Um, I did trade this morning. Uh, I did not record those trades. Uh, I am traveling, and so it's difficult for me to, to make those videos. So what I'm going to do today is just, I'm going to do a recap of my trades um, briefly while, I've, while I have some time. Um, so I can pull my trade performance right here. Um, this is from today, uh, June 3rd, 2021. These are the trades we took. Currently, we are positive 1,102 um, on the day. <clears throat> and when we came in this morning, um, we had broken, if you remember that we were looking at uh, the, the overall trend, which, we, which has been going on since last week, beginning of last week, we've just been ranging in here. Um, with our resistance and our support. We've broken to the downside on that um, in the overnight and pre-market session this morning. Um, we're now trading lower of this range, so it's looking bearish for the moment. Um, we saw that, this happened in pre-market, so we saw that happening, so we wanted to come in, we were bearish on the day. So we ended up um, just taking, uh, this was all, these first trade right here was just shorts um, and it was just one trade, <clears throat> three contracts, three different entries uh, for one trade, um, totaling $670, right at $845, then added at $846, then added at $840. You can't see that $840, but, or $850, $850. Yeah. So $845, $846, $849, um, and then exiting 10 seconds later after my last um, add to it. Um, and that was, we can just look at maybe like a five minute chart real quick to see what was going on. So as I said, overnight, we had this range, we broke to the downside, so I was clearly bearish on it and I wanted to take um, only shorts. This is the open right here. We were kind of, there was a little bit of a resistance area here that we can see on this five minute. Um, there was also a big LVN here on the overnight volume profile and price tried to move up into that um, it poked through and it looked like possibly it was gonna keep moving up maybe test vwap um, it could have just been a bull trap however and we just start selling off uh, from there uh, right here at nine o'clock there was an economic economic data that came out i believe it was pmi data um, so we waited for that. We took a short in here. We waited for the economic data to come out at 9. That data, I believe, just started to drive the market up. So we ended up actually taking, um, it looks like a, a, a couple longs um, in this period right here. So we took our shorts, noticing the bearish, bearish action overnight. We took some shorts um, on the open up to 850. Um, then we got out and at 906, we began taking longs. Um, all the way until 947. Um, so we were able to get um, this uh, bullish pullback <clears throat> um, on the positive economic data that came out. So we, you know, we just took this up here. And then I, and then I think we saw our last long was at what, 947? Uh, so I got one here too. I think it, we came up, we took a couple, and then we watched this pullback. I almost got in on this candle thinking that it was going to continue up to the top of the band or at least up to VWAP. I did not end up taking that trade and price just kept falling. We took a long, I believe, uh, on the, you see this trend line here, on the break of this trend line going up, and we took something, I think, in here up to VWAP. <clears throat> and then price just kept moving up, and uh, this looked really strong. It looked like it was just going to keep moving. Um, however, when we looked at a 500 volume profile, um, sorry, at, at the regular trading hours, a volume profile on the, on the vo 500 volume chart, we can see this was that bit. This right here uh, was that was the news on the economic data that started driving price up uh, here. Oh no, actually, it was back here a little bit. Let's see, let's move back. It was right around nine o'clock, so it would have been like right here. So price started moving up, then we had this pullback, and then we started moving up again, and this looks super aggressive. You know, we're moving higher, breaking highs. 
But once we got up here to this 13,610 level, which also happens to be the uh, uh, value area low level on the weekly volume profile, it's also a low volume node right here. So we notice that we notice delta starting to uh, form a bearish formation. Right, so as price is moving up, we have delta divergence where price is moving up, but uh, delta is starting to move down. We've got some bearish divergence here. It stops making new highs. We begin making lower lows. Price goes down, and I believe we took this short right here um, coming in. I'm sorry, coming off of the top here back down to the value area high. Uh, we took that short, and then we also took uh, another short, I believe maybe around here somewhere, back down to VWAP. I can't remember exactly. But um, that was just trading the delta divergence um, off of a, uh, of a, a, resistance, a, a resistance area, which would have been this LVN plus the value area high, uh, which we're coming off of now. And so that was my final trade, was that last short um, that we took and uh, coming at 1,102 on the day. I'm pretty happy with that. These were all just scalps, so I mean, I didn't hold anything for very long. Um, I didn't really add anything. You know, I, I didn't add to a trade or really manage a trade well. They were all just scalps of price levels breaking, support and resistance levels, and just reading delta as um, price moved away from those support and resistance levels. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. I wanted to try to trade a little more aggressively today. Watching the previous videos, you know, my p and is kind of is starting to um, starting to lower a little bit, uh, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars a day, which is not really where I want to be. I, I like to be a thousand dollars plus a day. So um, that was kind of my goal was to make a thousand dollars today. <clears throat> Um, and it was just scalping. So I think this thing right now is pretty hard to trade. I mean, I would only be taking shorts on it. But, um, you know, you could probably take a short around here, take it back down to value area low. 13500 I think would be a, a, a good trade. Um, taking a short up here at 13550 and trying to hold it down to 13500 by taking a short right now and then maybe adding to it at VWAP. Um, and then maybe adding to it as it breaks um, the low. But right now it's almost 11 o'clock. I don't like trading past 10.30 and uh, my nerves are about as um, worn as they're gonna be for today. And I don't, I don't really wanna trade anymore at this point. So I'm gonna call it a day. Um, if you got any value out of this, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed or liked to it. Um, and if you have any comments or suggestions about how to improve these videos or anything like that, I'd, I'd uh, really appreciate that as well. And I will be back um, tomorrow trading again. So thanks a lot for watching. See ya.